Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you the easiest way to create an accordion style collapsible section in Canvas LMS. You will also learn how to customize its appearance to make it look just the way you want. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. Alright, let's get started. In this example, we are seeing an accordion menu with multiple buttons. When you click on a button, it expands to reveal its content and clicking again will collapse it. Let me walk you through the process of creating this accordion menu. First, I will switch to a blank canvas LMS page. Then, I will click the edit button in the upper right corner of the screen and switch to the HTML editor by clicking the HTML editor icon. In the HTML code, start by typing opening and closing angle brackets to create an HTML tag. In both the opening and closing brackets, type details. Position your cursor between the details tag and press enter key a couple of times to create space. Then add another set of opening and closing angle brackets. This time in both the opening and closing brackets type summary. We have just added the essential piece of code for our first accordion menu button. To name the first button, position your cursor between the summary tags and type button 1. To add content for the first button, place your cursor right after the closing summary tag and type opening and closing p tags. Between the p tags type button 1 sample content. Now we have completed the first section of our accordion menu. Let's see how it looks. Scroll down and click the save button at the bottom right corner. As you can see, we now have button 1 on our page. When clicked, it reveals the content and functions properly. However, it's missing a polished look. To customize it and add some color, we need to include additional code. To continue, click edit again and switch to the HTML editor view. Let's start by styling button 1 first, then we will work on the content. Position your cursor between summary and the closing bracket. After adding space, type style equal quotation marks. To add the background color to the button, type background dash color colon followed by an HTML color code. Here I will paste the copied color code and semicolon. This will set the background color of my button to dark green. To add a border around the button, type border colon 1px solid followed by an HTML color code and a semicolon. This defines a border that is 1 pixel thick, solid and a lighter shade of green. To round the button's corner, type border dash radius colon 3px semicolon. To set the text color to white, type color colon and white color HTML code semicolon. To adjust the font size, type font dash size colon 20pt semicolon. To add space to the left side of the button text, type padding dash left colon 5px semicolon. Finally, to change the cursor to a pointer when users hover over the button, type cursor colon pointer semicolon. We have now finished styling button 1. To weave the changes, scroll down and click the save button. As you can see, button 1 now looks just the way we want it. When clicked, it still reveals the content as expected. Now, let's refine the appearance of the content by adding a border around it and using proper headings. To start working on the content, navigate to the edit button, then switch to the HTML editor. Next, highlight the content for button 1 and delete it. To display the content inside the border box, add a div by creating opening and closing div tags. Inside the opening div tag, type style equal quotation marks. Within the quotation marks, type border colon 1px solid followed by an HTML color code and a semicolon. This defines a border that is 1 pixel thick, solid and a lighter shade of green. To round the border box corners, type border dash radius colon 3px semicolon. To add space around the text inside the border box, type padding colon 10px semicolon. To add a content for button 1, you can simply type or paste your text between the div tags. Here is an important note. If you leave this section blank and either save the page or switch to the rich content editor, you will lose all the changes you have made to button 1 content. Now I will press the enter key a few times to create space before pasting the copy text. Next, I want topic A to be my heading. To do this, I will wrap it inside heading 3 tags. There it is. I will do the same for topic B. It's done as well. Now I will create a p tag for the text under both topic A and topic B.
The paragraph for topic A is set. So let's do the same for topic B. That's completed too. To weave the changes, scroll down and click the save button. As you can see, the content for button 1 is now inside the box with a colored border and everything is well organized. Next, to create additional buttons, click edit once more and navigate to the HTML editor. Simply copy the entire code and paste it as many times as needed to match the desired number of buttons in the accordion menu. In this example, I will paste it 5 times. To change the button names or update the content, switch to the rich content editor. Let's rename the buttons as button 1, button 2, button 3, button 4, and button 5. You can also edit the text under each button here, but I will skip that in this tutorial. Now let's save the changes and see how it looks. This looks great. However, there are two issues. I'd like to add some space between the buttons. Also, I don't want the buttons to stretch across the entire page. To resolve these issues, let's open the HTML editor. To add space between buttons, position your cursor inside the opening details tag right before the closing angle bracket. Then type style equal quotation marks. Inside the quotation marks, type margin dash bottom colon 5px semicolon. Now copy this piece of code and paste it into the remaining opening details tags for each button. And this is the last one. We have just finished adding space between the buttons. Now to prevent the buttons from scratching across the page, I will add a div for the entire section. Let's scroll up first, then create the opening and closing div tags. Inside the opening div tag, right before the closing angle bracket, type class equal quotation marks. Inside the quotation marks, type container. Now cut the closing div tag, scroll down all the way down the page and paste it right after the closing details tag. Finally, click the save button to view the changes. And here we are. We have successfully created and styled the accordion menu. As I click each button, they function perfectly. We have now reached the end of this brief tutorial. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below and I'm here to help. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.